Ever wondered how scientists manipulate liquids at an extremely minute scale, such as a millionth of a liter? Welcome to the intriguing world of microfluidics. In the vast universe of scientific research, there exist realms that are so tiny they're often overlooked. Yet it's within these miniature worlds where some of the most groundbreaking discoveries are made. One such world is that of microfluidics, the science of controlling fluids at a microscale. Microfluidics is a field that merges multiple scientific disciplines, including physics, chemistry, bioengineering, and nanotechnology. It's all about the precise handling and control of very tiny volumes of fluids, as small as a millionth or even a billionth of a liter. Think of it as the ultimate miniaturization of plumbing. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal about moving tiny amounts of liquid around? Well, the magic of microfluidics lies in its applications. From drug discovery and delivery to disease diagnosis, microfluidics is revolutionizing the way we approach some of the most critical challenges in healthcare and beyond. But it doesn't stop there. Microfluidics is also playing a pivotal role in the development of new materials, energy production, and even our understanding of fundamental physics and biology. It's a field that's as diverse as it is fascinating. In this video, we're gonna take you on an exploration of this microscopic world. We'll break down the mechanics of microfluidics, explain how it's being used in various fields, and even speculate about the future of this exciting discipline. So whether you're a seasoned scientist, a budding researcher, or just someone with a passion for understanding how the world works, we're certain you'll find something of interest here. Join us as we delve into this fascinating field and unravel the microscopic world of fluids. Firstly, we need to understand what microfluidics actually is. Microfluidics, in its simplest form, is the science of manipulating and controlling fluids on a very small scale, typically within the range of microliters down to picoliters. Imagine a world where a droplet of liquid is like an ocean and tiny channels crisscross like rivers. That's the world of microfluidics. This science revolves around the concept of fluid behavior, precise control, and manipulation of fluids that are geometrically constrained to a microscale environment. It's like playing with water, but at a scale so tiny, a human hair would seem gigantic. When we talk about fluids, we don't just mean water. It could be any liquid or gas. And when we say manipulation, it involves everything from moving, splitting, combining, or even changing the state of these fluids. Now you might ask, why go to all the trouble of dealing with fluids at such a microscopic level? Well, the answer lies in the unique behavior of fluids at this scale. At the microscale, fluids behave in ways that can be drastically different from how they behave in our everyday macroscopic world. For instance, in the macro world, fluid flow tends to be turbulent, swirling, and chaotic. But in the micro realm, it becomes what's known as laminar. Laminar flow is smooth and orderly with little mixing between layers of fluid. This characteristic opens up a whole new toolbox for scientists and engineers to work with, allowing them to precisely control and manipulate fluids in ways that would be impossible at larger scales. Microfluidics is a multidisciplinary field intersecting engineering, physics, chemistry, biochemistry, nanotechnology, and biotechnology with practical applications to the design of systems in which low volumes of fluids are processed to achieve multiplexing, automation, and high throughput screening. Now that we know what microfluidics is, let's explore how it works. So how exactly does microfluidics work? Well, to understand the mechanics of microfluidics, we first need to understand that fluids behave quite differently on a microscale compared to a macro scale. It's a bit like comparing the movement of a crowd in a large stadium to the movement of individuals in a narrow hallway. Things become more predictable, but also more intricate. On a microscale, fluid flow is laminar rather than turbulent. This means that the fluid moves in parallel layers without mixing. Imagine two colors of paint flowing side by side down a narrow tube without blending together. This allows scientists to control and manipulate the flow of fluid with exceptional precision. Another characteristic of microfluidics is the dominance of surface tension, viscosity, and capillary forces over gravity. For instance, you may have noticed how a small drop of water can stick to the tip of a needle due to surface tension. 
Similarly, in microfluidics, these forces become critical in manipulating fluid behavior. Now, how do scientists use these unique properties to their advantage? By creating microchannels, chambers, and valves, they can control the movement of tiny volumes of fluid in a predictable and repeatable way. They can also create gradients or variations in concentration, temperature, and other parameters within a single microfluidic device. These microscale devices are often fabricated using soft lithography, a technique borrowed from the microelectronics industry. This involves creating a mold with the desired microchannel design, then casting a liquid polymer like silicone onto the mold. Once the polymer hardens, it forms a flexible, transparent device with intricate microchannels. Microfluidics is not just about shrinking down large-scale processes into tiny chips, though. It's about harnessing the unique physics of the microscale to do things that simply aren't possible on a larger scale. It's about precision, control, and the ability to manipulate single cells, tiny droplets, and minute chemical reactions. With this understanding of how microfluidics works, we can now delve into its applications. Microfluidics has a broad range of applications spanning from medical diagnostics to environmental monitoring. Let's kick off with medical diagnostics. Imagine a world where a simple droplet of blood could tell you everything you need to know about your health. That's the promise of microfluidics. The field is pioneering the development of lab-on-a-chip technologies. These devices integrate several laboratory functions onto a single chip of just millimeters to a few square centimeters in size. This allows for quick, efficient, and cost-effective diagnostic tests. An example of this is the glucose testing strips used by diabetics. These strips utilize microfluidic channels to direct a small sample of blood to a testing area, giving an accurate reading of blood sugar levels in seconds. This is a game changer for chronic disease management. Next, let's consider the field of genomics. Microfluidics is revolutionizing the way we, uh, we study DNA. It's enabling faster, cheaper DNA sequencing. This not only accelerates research, but also brings us closer to personalized medicine, where treatments can be tailored to an individual's unique genetic makeup. Now let's shift gears and talk about environmental monitoring. It's crucial to keep tabs on the health of our planet and microfluidics is playing a pivotal role. Microfluidic devices can be used to monitor air and water quality, detecting minute quantities of pollutants. They offer a more efficient and portable solution compared to traditional bulky laboratory equipment. Furthermore, microfluidics is making strides in the food and agriculture industry. It's being used to develop sensors for detecting contaminants in food and for monitoring soil quality. With food safety and security being major global concerns, these developments are of paramount importance. Let's also not forget about the role of microfluidics in the fight against infectious diseases. Rapid, on-site detection of pathogens can be a lifesaver, especially in remote areas with limited access to healthcare. Microfluidic devices can quickly analyze samples, identify pathogens, and guide treatment decisions. Finally, microfluidics has a significant role in the field of drug delivery. Controlled release of drugs at the right time and in the right amount can significantly improve treatment outcomes. Microfluidic systems are being developed to achieve this level of precision, leading to more effective therapies with fewer side effects. As we've seen, microfluidics is a multifaceted field with a wide array of applications. It's transforming healthcare, enhancing environmental monitoring, improving food safety, and so much more. The beauty of it all lies in the ability to manipulate fluids at the micro scale, opening up a world of possibilities. These applications showcase the versatility and potential of microfluidics. But what does the future hold for this field? The future of microfluidics is as fascinating as the field itself. As we stand on the brink of a new era, it's intriguing to consider what lies ahead. Microfluidics, the science of manipulating and controlling fluids at the microscopic level, is poised to revolutionize various sectors, even as it continues to evolve and expand. The potential applications are vast and varied, from healthcare and environmental science to food industry and beyond. In healthcare, microfluidic devices could play a critical role in personalized medicine. Imagine a world where patients no longer have to endure a one-size-fits-all approach to treatment. Instead, doctors could use microfluidic devices 
to analyze individual patients' cells, tailoring treatments to their specific genetic makeup. This could lead to more effective therapies and fewer side effects. Moreover, microfluidics could also transform environmental science. Devices could be developed to monitor pollutants in the air and water, providing real-time data to scientists and policymakers. This could lead to more effective environmental regulations and cleaner, safer environments. In the food industry, microfluidic techniques could be used to develop new flavors and textures, creating a culinary experience like no other. Imagine biting into a piece of chocolate that has been engineered to melt in your mouth in a specific way, or sipping a drink with a flavor that changes as you consume it. As the field of microfluidics continues to mature, it's likely we'll see even more applications. The potential for innovation is vast. Imagine devices that can analyze soil samples in real time, allowing farmers to optimize their crop yields or microfluidic systems that can predict weather patterns with unprecedented accuracy. These are just a few examples of how microfluidics could shape our future. But the possibilities don't stop there. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, we're likely to see new applications that we can't even imagine yet. The possibilities are endless and the future of microfluidics is certainly exciting. We've covered a lot of ground today, from understanding what microfluidics is, to exploring its applications and future potential. Now let's take a moment to revisit some of the key points we touched on. We started by delving into the intriguing world of microfluidics, a field that operates on the micro scale, manipulating fluids within channels less than one millimeter in diameter. We discovered that this field is far from insignificant. In fact, it's a powerful tool that's revolutionizing industries from healthcare to environmental science. We then broke down the mechanics of microfluidics, learning about the unique properties of fluids at the micro scale. We explored concepts like laminar flow and surface tension, and how these play a crucial role in the behavior of fluids. This understanding allows us to control and direct tiny amounts of fluids with precision, making microfluidics a game changer in many fields. We also shed light on the wide-ranging applications of microfluidics. From developing lab-on-a-chip devices that can perform complex laboratory functions on a single chip, to creating microenvironments for studying cells in more natural conditions, the possibilities are vast and exciting. Looking into the future, what do I? We pondered the potential of microfluidics. With ongoing research and innovation, we can expect to see microfluidic technologies becoming more integrated into our everyday lives. Perhaps one day we might even have personal health monitors powered by microfluidics that can provide real-time health updates. So you see, the world of microfluidics is a fascinating realm that holds much promise. It's a field that blends the beauty of science with the power of engineering, creating solutions that are not only innovative, but also practical and impactful. As we wrap up, remember the beauty of science lies in its continual evolution. Microfluidics, like any scientific field, is always advancing, always changing. And that's what makes it so exciting. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the microscopic world of fluids. Stay curious, keep exploring, and until next time, farewell.